might still be in that place. If he's trying to get out. Yep. Just follow me. Sorry about the lyrics. I like the censored, but I don't have it right now. Oh, the saturation. I lowered the saturation because of uh, filming and stuff. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, hold on. I don't know. I think it's just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday, right? Yeah, I think so. I am so exhausted. I woke up. I ate. I did some... I sent some messages out. <laughs> I, I love and hate production part. Like, it's exciting, but then I also easily get overwhelmed and like... Uh, I don't know where to go with it, all those things, but yeah, I have a list of what other stuff I need to do this week and like permits and getting all the information once I get information from everyone as far as food and all this stuff. Everyone's like too nice, like, oh, I have no food restrictions. And then you find out, oh, yeah, I can't eat that. Oh, you see them, you know, not eating something. I'm like, Just let me know, because if you let me know, if we, if you let us know, then we won't spend money. You know, like it, it's it's kind of like um, it's easy easier and nicer if you let us know and we can accommodate that or let us know hey i won't be eating i'll bring my own food too right now i'll take everyone at their word and then we'll see where that leads also my one uh best aid person that was like hey, yeah I, I can do it just like last year he's like oh well my wife made plans and didn't let me know i'm like okay well that doesn't count because you can also let your wife know hey i had a prior commitment but apparently this isn't something you're taking seriously and i'm not someone you take seriously and twice it has happened expected it's to happen because last time it happened and it was in such a weird way you know like again like oh sorry i can't make it because i have to work or something you know like twice i'm good like we're not ever going to work again i'm not ever going to contact you to work with me so that's fine so if the thing is like i keep saying this but you never know where things will lead and where people will go and who you're talking to so if you plan on it and also here's the thing if you weren't sure like other people who weren't sure you could have said hey i'm not sure i'll let you know closer to the date that's also something that is kind of like the food thing it's something that is very respecting of me of my time of everyone's time because it's not actually just me it's all the there's two other people that are equally involved as me i just feel weird now towards them i just feel like i disappointed them but it wasn't me disappointing them but you know like you kind of feel responsible as the team leader and someone that you called on and said is going to do it and dropped out on you you feel crappy for it i have to also like tell people like hey yeah this person isn't coming and they're okay with it but you know it's like crappy it's a crappy situation and all of this could have been avoided if you would have been just like hey i'm not sure i would like to i would love to but i'm not sure so i will have to get back to you closer to the date so many people do that you should try doing that honestly and yeah, that might sound a little passive aggressive but i am a little upset because and i it's not just upset it's just i really want to help you and if this is something you want to do as it seems like you do because you are in all these little other things if it's something that you want to do and be taken seriously and not have people rub the wrong way like it, it's just i am very 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 glad that i don't have a lot of money and i don't have a lot of prestige i don't have a lot of credit in this world because this is how you weed out people that i wouldn't want to promote i don't want to work with people and i don't want to give people a chance if they are like this only there if you are someone i want to give people who actually are there because they love what they're doing and because they're committed to what they do uh, regardless this is what sub teacher person said yesterday he's like oh when i teach or someone else's teaches someone else's someone else teaches other than our instructor our main instructor no one shows up like you're not here you're not paying all this money to impress the instructor you're here because ideally you want to improve your craft and you want to get better and you want practice and all this stuff so it shouldn't matter who's teaching and to a, a, a certain extent yeah i agree but you know like last time it was annoying because I wasn't taken seriously that I needed to leave early and so you know sometimes that stuff happens it's the same thing what are you doing this for are you doing this just uh like 
Yeah, I just, I don't know. I've expressed, I've let it go. Now I have to, <laughs> I think I need to buy something to eat. It's 1.32, I need to buy another bagel. Are they still open? Uh, I guess I could just eat something here, I don't know. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Let's go to a seminar, then let's go to emotional prep. I keep cutting me off, it's okay. This right now is better looking than this part, so. But I'm excited, I just, you know, I just need a few more minutes to check this off for this uneasiness and disappointment and whatever. I think I got everything. Oh, I think I need. This is the second time in a row too that I've dreamt of opening a restaurant. I really want to. I love food. I love food and I love planning things and making people happy and bringing something different to people. Love that. So we'll see. Maybe. 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 All right. Have a wonderful day. I shall talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, why do I keep saying that? Because I don't feel it. I don't like it. I need to put the light. So I think my stomach issues primarily are from my nasal passages and allergies. So I took a Claritin today. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. <laughs> but I have like so much stuff in my like, lungs. On my way to the seminar, a lot of disappointment all around from people. What I said earlier and then my family, the people who need to see this seminar most don't. Like, oh yeah, next time, next time, next time, next time. It's just so annoying. Just, you know, like it, it exasperates you when you try. You know that they need it the most considering especially with the reason they're missing it. But you're no one. I'm no one in front of my family. I'm just, you know, no one. A child should never be no one. The excuse would be like, well, you're not independent, you're not a grown-up, blah, 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 blah. By what standards? By your standards? By some standards? That doesn't mean I'm not a grown-up, and that doesn't mean that a child isn't worth the same respect you are worth. You're not worth more than anything. Just, I'm upset, I'm having a crappy day. On top of that, it's just like the exhaustion gets to me and the stomach issues get to me. It's not fun when you have like this whole like thing filling your lungs and all this acid and this stuff. Tomorrow is going to be okay. Tomorrow I have my eye doctor appointment and I have a lot of stuff to, to do like logistic stuff. I don't even want to look right now because if I start seeing what people reply, if they replied yet, probably not. Probably everyone's enjoying their day, their Sunday. But if I start seeing it, I'll start trying to like problem solve and stuff. So I'm just focusing on getting to the seminar and that's it. And everyone can like do whatever they want. What I started saying was that on top of everything else, I'm also very tired. When I'm tired, I get more depressed on top of everything when, you know, I, I can't handle stress as well as when I'm not tired, obviously. Disappointment. And, uh, ooh, a new sushi bar thing. Okay. Uh, I want to be in my shell. Why is this, like, road so messed up? I'm just focused right now because my stomach is not going to be okay. The one thing I really needed, my mom didn't buy. She bought the bread that I didn't ask for. The Nexium, she didn't buy. It's hard. It's hard to have to only rely on yourself. It sucks. Anyways, have a wonderful day and I shall talk to you after a seminar. See how that is. I'm I'm going because I need some positive relaxation right now. I need my mind to shut down. Have a wonderful day. I shall talk to you soon. Bye. Uh, I'll be there, Zane. What you put in versus what you get out. So if I put in as much as little as possible and get out as much as I can, I'm being more efficient than somebody next door to me. If love is involved, if caring is involved, you don't want to be efficient. You don't go into your baby's room and say, how can I put the least amount into this kid and get the most out of him? <laughs> or you don't look at your significant other and say, how can I put the least amount into this guy and exploit him the most? That would be very efficient, right? Because where are my brothers and sisters now? High school. So I say, I'll be happy when I get to high school. Why? Because in high school, life is so much fun. <coughs> Brothers and sisters of mine look so happy. So they're sitting there saying, I don't want to live with these old fogies. They have nothing interesting to teach me or tell me. I want to get the hell out of here. I can't wait to get out of college. I don't want to see these people again. And folks, the educational system is so messed up that high school has become one of the most torturous times because the parents are even more stressed out about the grades of the children than the children are themselves. So by the time you get all the children to 
complete their homework. I left the seminar early. I don't think I need the glasses because I wasn't really being able to like be present at first. I was kind of sidetracked by everything, the disappointments of today, to-do lists and thoughts. And then I let that go a little bit and I was uh, sort of focusing. I was just not with it today. I, I've, I don't know. I'm just exhausted. I have incredible indigestion. Incredible indigestion. So I'm off to Giant Eagle. I don't have money, but I guess I'll buy my own Nexium and stuff. Cause that's that. So I, I'm early. Like it's not even. It's not even four o'clock. I'm supposed to. I was planning on leaving at 4:30, which would have left me plenty of time to get to the class. What am I going to do until then? I think I'm going to go to Giant Eagle, get what I need and go back and edit some things and uh, figure out, get my hard disk back and figure out all those details. This week, I really think I can focus on editing and just do that and get that out of the way and everything be okay. And I also need to focus on my eating habits. I think it's uh, a lot from allergies and a lot from the elderflower drink much elder flour and lemon and sugar. I post a live uh, moments because maybe that way people will understand why they need to go see the seminar. But there's no reason unless you're not locally. He's traveled with it in places as well. So unless you're not near it, there is no reason why you shouldn't go to this seminar as a human being. It's all just about being human. So the things that I wrote down that to me are really important. If our hearts are shut off from pain, we also shut it off from love and happiness and everything else. Don't try to fix something, embrace it. Anger is in the medicine, compassion is the medicine. Self-hate is what causes all the wars and bad things happening in this world. Every damage in this world is also done by hardworking people, not by lazy people. All these people are very hard working very hard think about it success equals failure this is how you should perceive it you should not let one be more important to you than the other you should not let yourself become addicted to success or failure to happiness or unhappiness you should try to make it as even as possible embrace and love both of those and the last part when you love yourself or who you are you love other people when you heal yourself you'll be able to heal other people so with those little tidbits of the seminar oh my god like everything he says is is like a quotation could be a quotation mostly Osho but I think he like puts his own experience into it and all sorts of things so yeah I don't know have a wonderful day and I shall talk to you soon bye <sighs> why do I keep saying that Sigan to sale Por favor. Actually, Anio, Anio. She can. I don't need extra time or, you know, time is not what I need. Shiganin, Shiganin, Shigani. I don't know. I need, I don't know, whatever calms my stomach down. I was watching The Bride of the Water God as I was eating a little bit. And now I'm off to the class, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, some Nexium and then I have Gaviscon. I don't want to take it right after one after the other. Hangugo. Is Hangugo language or the written language? Marayo? I don't know. I'm just throwing sounds out there. It has been such a long time since I've looked and studied Korean. I miss it and I want to speak it. That's what I was trying to say. I want to speak Korean because I was hearing them and like I, I, it's like bleh. It's like right in my mouth trying to get out but I don't know what to say I don't you know yeah anyways well today has been like a blah day and um, you know not very happening the moment that happens in your adulthood you realize crap I'm all alone <laughs> And I've hit that point, apparently. And it's frustrating and I'm fighting against it, sort of. I don't know, it's so nice when you have people helping you out. A community, uh, oh my gosh, poor dear. A team, a cohesive blob working together. It's so nice, but apparently that's not really what happens in the real world. Have a wonderful day. I'll tell you how this class went. And, uh, I don't know, should I sing? I don't feel like singing. And try heo, and try heo, da, bla, bla. Try an heo. Because before the, the compound verbs are supposed to have the that in the middle. 
Choya Choya Anheo. Choya Anheo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that kind of sounds good. Anyways, I don't know. Whatever. See you soon. Yesterday I forgot, I didn't forget really to mention, you know, uh, I was just thinking about it now, today, I don't know why. I was listening to You're the One That I Want by, I don't know, some guy, and Menstrual Motel. Oh, this is like so cool. Anyways, so I was listening to something and whatever, what am I saying? Yes. Yesterday we went out to dinner and it was so funny. They sat, I don't remember exactly the sequence, but at one point they were sitting next to each other across the, uh, the street. Oh <laughs> yeah, across the street because that's how we eat. I do not want to be with commoners. <laughs> across the table and <laughs> oh I mean I don't know maybe this is like randomness anyway so yeah so we were sitting they were sitting across the table together and the waiter comes by I burst out laughing to myself burst out is a strong word but you know they're like the bursting out doesn't have to be like a huge huge uh, what am I saying? I don't know. Anyways, I mean, I know what I'm saying, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I burst out laughing to myself because it felt so much like I was out with my gay couple friends. And it was awesome. And then they ordered wine. They were saying, I didn't even hear it, but they apparently were saying one of them ordered the same one the other ordered because he didn't know what to order. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it makes me happy even just thinking about it. And I wasn't, I was there, but I, I didn't hear this part. And I'm so sad that I missed it because I was like, perfect. They were drinking wine after the wine came and they were like talking about it. And I was like dying of laughter in my corner. And you can't really hear me on tape, but I was laughing so hard. And the one's like, I'm not even going to acknowledge that. <laughs> It was so awesome though, that was like so awesome. Like it, that made my day, that made me so happy. It's funny, it's cool, like yeah. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. That put me in a good mood because on the way here, I wasn't too much in a good mood. My road rage was getting to me and then it's kind of, well, I'm kind of sad. Just when I don't feel good, I don't feel good. Yeah, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> I have no idea how this will go. I know that I feel like sadness today is something that is easily tapped into. But if you give me Watch stories, out. object on road ahead. If you give me stories, of, oh, I should have gone that way. If you give me stories about like children dying or people dying, I don't know, things dying, I don't know, like the classic sad stories, I'm not going to be able to like feel any sadness. So I'm trying to go this way. No, I don't think so. That's what I'm worried about. Like, I'm not normal. I'm curious. I don't know. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. So curious. All right. Have a good day. I'm right here. Yeah. I wonder if it's different once I zoom in, if the quality is at all different. I look kind of weird. I don't know. I'm hungry too. I'm going home without any food. Yay. Yay. Wow, that person smoked and there's this whole cloud. Look at this. Do you see the cloud? I'm just going through it. Interesting. It is so difficult to see over here. Mm -hmm. I guess I could have gone for that. So it is 7 o'clock, 7.08. And we just got out of emotional prep. And I'm frustrated with this driving situation right now. Ow. Oh, my stomach. Hold on. Yay, Gab is gone. That's so nice. How did it go? Not too great. This is one of my biggest issues. Do I have like Gavisco on my lips? No. Uh, this person is going on red, so you know what? Slow down and whatever. So one of the, the biggest issues is my physical state. So when I was trying to think of the scenarios, one of my stop was that 
like I would feel something or you know my stomach and that would be that another thing like when we did the sadness scenario as he was speaking about it and going through it I was crying so much and it hit me so strongly and as soon as he walked out within like I still was uh, holding it and I still was triggered by it but then within like ten five minutes all of a sudden it was kind of like you hear people or if you've done it I've done it recently where you drive and all of a sudden you kind of wake up and you don't know how you got from here to there because you just lost a chunk of time that's kind of what how it was and all of a sudden it wasn't triggering me anymore and I started thinking well I guess it's kind of like my survival instinct being too strong dealing with things that make me sad and all this stuff obviously the scenario itself I didn't want to go there so I think that was part of it so I just kind of shut down to it then I started getting tense frustrated anxious letting my mind go in other places getting anxious putting pressure on myself which I know and I, you know he said not to do but you still kind of do it so that didn't work he came back in and I was not able to get back I also tried to change it a little bit but just for a second because I realized no I shouldn't probably do that and I, I should rather stick with something that I was already doing so that was that then the second emotion I had absolutely no way to achieve that I was not able to mostly because I had this one I'll, I'll say because it's happy it doesn't really I don't know but scenario was about a crush and it can't be if you have a significant other it can't be your significant other and it can't be a celebrity because it has to be realistic and I'm like oh, excuse me but <laughs> My only crush, if anything, is a celebrity. And trust me, I have experience at this. I really believe those circumstances. Trust me, I can make anything possible. I can totally think of a very, very possible scenario as to how I get to meet this celebrity in Cleveland right now. So the same thing goes to any other person, like the likelihood of going through the scenario he was giving to meet any crush, whether the guy next door or or the girl next door depending on what you like and who you are or somebody from like oceans away or states away or whatever anything can happen anything can happen it's as realistic or unrealistic as anything but I guess it depends for most people I mean I told you my friend just does not understand how in the world I get so attached to these celebrities and I feel like there's so many times where I wake up and have the lingering feeling of awesomeness that in my dream or whatever a war plane is so nice to see just my daydreams before going to sleep they're so real and it feels so real and I just it lingers with me and I feel as if I've had these relationships with these people they feel absolutely real so I think my imagination is there I just uh, uh, I have other stoppages I don't think that's a word other things that stop it stop them stop me I don't know bottlenecks speed bumps stuff like that so that's that that, that was my emotional prep in my experience I felt not happy at all and I know how it feels to be incredibly happy this scenario yesterday or no Friday I got the email that I I was going through and I, that's one thing he mentioned that I didn't really do that wasn't the scenario he prepared but he mentioned that it works um, maybe sometimes even more to layer and not to layer but not to get to it as quickly so on Friday what happened to me was I was having kind of a depressive down anxious day I wasn't very happy I was feeling stressed how am I going to get through everything blah 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 and then I got this email email that literally was an answer to my prayers or stressors or whatever and it made me more happy than I ever remember being I started crying but happy dear I mean you saw me I I you saw it so I know what it's sort of supposed to look like and I wasn't even close to that not even close to it but 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 this time around with happy I didn't force it as much even though I had just felt this and I just had a scenario I didn't choose I chose not to switch scenarios I chose to stick to his even though it was shaky honestly the only I yeah I tried two different people and like, I have no crushes really right now except for that one celebrity and then if I try someone real 
it's not been for too long and not really a crush and also it feels because I have problems with crushes and relationships I was just talking about it last night so if you give me this scenario right now what you get is like the extreme shutdown so yeah I'll see what works for me but I think I'll go with sadness first because even though I sort of failed at it initially I got there oh but that's what I was saying I was thinking that at first I would take your time with it don't get straight into whatever emotion and event that leads you to that emotion like if it's happy try imagining maybe your day is like going crap <laughs> and then something happy happens happening happens and that will make it even better or you know like uh, makes it more real or stronger or he was talking at the end to layer to imagine this happy thing happened and this happy thing happened and after that this other th happy thing happened yeah I'll try it and we'll see I don't I don't expect anything to happen at the same time I didn't expect to be crying at his scenario or anything I was just talking about like I won't feel anything for what no, most people feel kind of crappy side is there's so much preparation required there's an activity required and you know how much I hate preparing activities thinking of activities there's also a scenario to prepare at the top like for regardless of what you were thinking of that made you that emotion what was the circumstance that you needed to play that would equal that emotional level of whatever emotion you had. There's all that prep. Fun, exciting. But yeah, all right, have a wonderful day and early morning, late morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night. My indigestion is still really horribly bad, but I think it's some sort of allergy. I know my one friend person I, is weird. Yesterday, I didn't call them friends to their faces. I call them like people or something, and I'm like, oh, I, I think that's even worse. Like, I'd rather, I probably would have rather. Oh, these are like random stones here. I think they probably would be less offended by me calling them friends, even though they might not think we're friends, rather than people. But either way, that's me, whatever. The key to change is acceptance, and yeah, I accept myself. Fake it till we make it sometimes. <laughs> Gonna go. Allergies, that's what I was saying. Yeah, like the one guy, he's coughing a lot. Today I was coughing, and like I never cough. And it wasn't from him. My professor was coughing. I think it's just really bad, horrible air quality, and not in terms of pollution. Put me in a polluted environment and my breathing is fine. It's awesome, it's perfect, it's like wonderful. Like what is this clean air? But put me in a, an environment with a lot of vegetation. My eyes are weird, my nose is weird, everything is weird. There's a lot of inflammation going on in my body right now. So I have no food at home. Like this is so crap. Yeah, I think I have plenty of different scenarios I can do for sad, plenty. Have a wonderful day. Have an early, uh, happy early morning, late morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night. Have a good one of those, all of those, anything in between those. That's not what I usually say. Oh, headache. Oh, and I'm really hot. I don't have gas. I can't turn on the air. I just did, but you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 早上好,上午好,中午好,下午好,晚上好. I messed those tones up so badly, I'm so sorry. Adibuchi. He's loving compassion. Annyeong ki kaseyo, annyeong ki kaseyo. Saijan, bye bye, pick wooden pa. I was thinking now with sadness, especially maybe. I'm curious, I'm just throwing this out there. I have no idea what will happen and I'm not setting up expectations right now. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is just uh, I'm expressing my thoughts because they're in my head anyways. It could possibly happen that I would be fine until like if someone would hold me, I would break down. I feel like that's when you break down most, when you like bottle it up and it's there and it's deep as they say and then like bah. Hold on to me. Cause I'm a little unsteady Little unsteady A brooch A piece Just a trying To find when you feel like flying If you love me, don't let go If you love me from 
and leave it on because it came out next. He was my favorite actor and character, really, I don't know actor, but character in this show. It, it got to me. So in his memory, even though he, the song doesn't really have anything to do besides being on the soundtrack, here's Bones by Little Big Town. guilty I don't know if you've gone through this because you're like oh my gosh I loved him but then I never followed him Sorry. you know like you like this actor or actress or whatever I tend to use actor in general terms but you like them and you don't see them after the role that you love them in not because you wouldn't love them but either because shows you didn't know they're in they're in or or their movies or shows that you wouldn't watch and you don't even know that I don't know I don't know if that's what happened so now there's a little guilt and how it keeps you from being able to sing correctly. Not even, I'm not even talking like sing well, like correctly. Because I'm not using the diaphragm and breathing. I'm using the throat because I can't use anything else. And that, even that's like bad, so I should just stop singing. I'm gonna stop singing, yeah. But there you go, karaoke. And what day was today? July 9th, yes. Yeah, 